بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم مجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأخرجنا وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وأفتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحن اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص بوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل. My topic today is about the role of the radiologist on the COVID-19 outbreaks. The role of the radiologist we know that the definite diagnosis of the COVID-19 infection is based on the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, and the radiological findings are important for the diagnosis of pneumonia. Timely, the diagnosis of COVID-19 pneumonia would enable rapid management planning including further imaging follow-ups and conservative care. Careful interpretation of the chest radiograph is needed because it is appear as a ground glass opacities and may be very faint. As we see here in the AB chest, we have ill-defined alveolar consolidation in the upper lobes. And 12, days, 12 hours later, we see progression of the disease and become bilateral alveolar consolidation suggesting of our is secondary to the COVID-19. And here some improvement of the radiological finding after three days. Although the chest CT scan has demonstrated high sensitivity relative to the RT-PCR testing for COVID-19 diagnosis, it may not reveal distinct pattern for COVID-19 in all cases. This can make it hard to distinguish between COVID-19 from other causes of viral pneumonia. This suggests that there is potential that if the differential diagnosis is between COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 pneumonia, a negative diagnosis of COVID-19 by a radiologist on chest CT scan may be good enough to exclude patient from having the disease with fairly good certainty. As we see here in this two patient, uh, that the patient has non-COVID-19 pneumonia and as we see here the grand glass obesity more centrally than periphery and here also this is and in, in fact this reported as COVID-19. Here also The non-coronaviral infection reported as coronaviral infection in this two patient. Here, these are a typical findings of uh, coronaviral infection, as we see here at all sign, and here we see diffuse uh, airspace and. Uh, uh, grand glass obesities involving the lower lobes and here more consolidation and these are a typical, cons uh, typical findings and here some pneumothorax also.
Early detection of the radiological abnormality can provide suspicion of pneumonia in patient at risk, and usually the patient uh, presented with bilateral grand glass obesities in the lung periphery on the chest CT scan. And here there are some findings of the chest CT scan imaging features of the COVID-19. We see grand glass obesities, plus minus cons consolidation. We see multiple lesion, bilateral involvement, and posterior and peripheral. And these are non uh, or relatively non common as the previously said, like air bronchogram, crazy breathing, reverse halo or atosign effusion, and there is no cavitation or calcification or uh, adenopathy unless there is secondary infection or complicated by other infection. Here, patient with uh, COVID 19 with minor grand glass obesities, minor disease, and here relatively more severe than the previous one with the grand glass obesities, periphery and posterior distribution with a bronchogram, and here more severe Grand, more severe infection with COVID-19 pneumonia and we see involving of the upper lobes. And here we see another patient with the grazy bearing appearance involving the right upper lobe. Here we see area of consolidation, local area of consolidation in patients, two patients with uh, here looks like uh, melting sugar. Here another patient with uh, mixed appearances of uh, grand glass obesities as we see here in periphery and we see area of consolidation here and also we see some fibrotic bands noted. And here are some of the not typical appearances and we see air bubble in the area of uh, consolidation and back uh, and the grand glass obesities. And here as we say, see at all sign involving the posterior segment of the uh, right lower lobe. And here, this is the area of the uh, 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 fibrotic bands uh, indicating uh, absorption of the inflammatory changes uh, of the COVID-19. Uh, disease severity can be suggested and notified to the clinician like uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome and imaging it plays an important uh, role, role in the diagnosis and follow-up of the adult respiratory distress syndrome. And uh, here, a patient with uh, a patient with pulmonary embolism secondary to the COVID disease. The COVID disease, one of the uh, lab investigation, it is increased dimer. Uh, uh, increased dimer and will be disposed to pulmonary uh, to thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. As we see here, segmental segmental uh, non filling of the pulmonary artery with bilateral grand glass obesities. Here, this is the white line as a complicated of the adult respiratory distress syndrome involving both lungs with air. Uh, uh, air bronchogram noted. And here also another patient uh, with uh, uh, adult respiratory distress and progressive of the disease and uh, uh, unfortunately the both lungs are white and patient died from the bilateral uh, adult respiratory distress, dis uh, disease dis uh, distress syndrome. What uh, a radiologist also can give 
the suspicion of the bacterial infection and as we see here patient with uh, bilateral adenopathy and the adenopathy are not a common finding of the COVID-19. Radiologists also should make an effort to educa educate trainees and the clinician of the imaging finding of the emerging infectious diseases include COVID-19. Radiologists and the clinicians should be prepared for an expected infectious disease to fight epidemic and potential pandemic. And also the radiologists have a new weapon. We, in this decade, it is artificial intelligence models for imaging studies. Diagnostic artificial imaging models would enable a prompt risk prioritization and help to reduce turnaround time and also these models would be extremely useful in a mass screening setting and also artificial intelligence models for chest radiograph and CT scan may help to alleviate the burden of radiologist and the clinician and enhance rapid triaging. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka.